Kente cloth comes from Africa, from the Ashanti region of Ghana, right about here. That is also where Adinkra cloth and Adinkra patterns come from. Kente cloth is long pieces of woven fabric. When I say long, I mean kind of like a belt or a scarf. And after they have many pieces of fabric like this, they either sew them together or they weave the fabric together. So they would either line up the fabric and sew along the edges to create something large like a shawl or a blanket, or they would weave the fabric together using many strips. So they could have fabric going up and down and across and weave and sew the fabric together. This isn't actually kente cloth. This is cloth that somebody gifted me and it's from South America. So uh, regions all around the world um, sometimes will weave long pieces of fabric like this for different reasons. This is similar to kente cloth because it's of its shape its bright colors, um, and some of the patterns might look similar, but it's different because this cloth from South America uses a very thick yarn. You can see how it looks like yarn you might use in school or uh, what your grandma might use to knit a scarf. But kente cloth is made from very very thin silk, very fine cloth. So um, this feels more rough. Kente would feel more smooth. So what we're going to do for our lesson is we're going to learn how these Kente cloths are woven together and create our own kind of pattern. But first, we need to kind of learn how they're fabric is created in the first place. So I have these strips of patterned colorful paper to represent kente cloth. What I want to do right now is to show you how they would piece their uh, fabric together to create a whole kente cloth. So they would either create a pattern of every other strip of cloth and sew those pieces together. And you see how that would create one long piece of fabric that you could use to wear um, around your body rather than just wearing it around your neck. Uh, they could also weave the fabric together For our virtual lesson, we are going to draw a kente cloth. So I drew the big blanket and then I drew three lines where the kente would meet and be sewn together. So imagine if you had three pieces of cloth and you would sew them together right where they meet. So in each of those spaces, I'm creating a different pattern and coloring it in. You can use very bright colors or you can use your favorite colors. That's up to you. Remember, kente cloth represents kings and queens. It's what kings and queens would wear. And then eventually kente cloth became acceptable for all people to wear. What would your kente cloth look like? What patterns would you put on there? You can choose your favorite colors or you can make a kente cloth represent somebody else besides yourself. You could use whatever patterns you want to. They don't have to be patterns that you've seen before on kente cloths today. They could be patterns that you'd like. You can be creative and do whatever you want.
If you are not able to turn your work in in class, you need to turn it in on Google Classroom. So watch these videos to learn about Kente cloth. Then click here, this plus sign, add or create, all the way down to drawings. And it will open up a new tab with the drawing. Go to insert, image, and then camera to use your computer's camera. Hold up your picture nice and big. Take a photo of it. And then insert that photo to the drawing. It's automatically saving to the drive. So you can go back to this tab. There's your work and you can click turn in.